What's up everybody, Liz Medley. I wanna to talk to you today about using your why as your why not. <sighs> I'm gonna try, hold my passion down a little bit because this fires me up. I've had this conversation multiple times this week and it's disgusting. It's a freaking excuse and I'm just, I'm just over it. I'm just over it, I heard it again today and I was like, really? Really, you're gonna go there. You are gonna go there. I was working 70 hours a week. I was in the worst place mentally, physically, spiritually that I'd ever been in. I had a two year old. I had just bought a new house with my husband and I did not need to take on anything else. I would find five minutes here to work this business, five minutes there, five minutes here. After I got home from working a long ass day, I'd put my daughter to bed. I would then, I stopped watching television and I would work this business after she went to bed. So I was losing sleep because I knew that network marketing was the answer to allow me to be able to take my daughter to school, to have dinner with my family of an evening. Um, I was a hairstylist and salon owner, so I had no retirement fund. I knew that this was a way to get me there. Um, does building a business take sacrifices? Yeah, a lot of things take sacrifices. Your job takes sacrifices. So when I hear people say, when they get started and they're like, yeah, I want to do this for my kids. I want to do this for a college fund for them. I want to do this to be able to pay for my daughter's wedding in the future. I want to do this for all, you know, these things. And then, you know, you follow up and you're touching base. Hey, you know, what's going on? What you working on? What can I help you with? And they say, I've, I, you know, I need to just focus more on my kids. Really? Because you're doing this business for your kids. So now you're taking your why and making an excuse. And now it's your why not? Really? Really, your children deserve you to work this. They deserve this business. They deserve this opportunity that you have to work this business to change their future. So you can go volunteer in their schools in the morning. So you can be the one that picks them up after school. So you can be the one that writes a check for their college. So you can be the one to afford school or tuition or shoes or doctor's appointments or dentist appointments, whatever it is. But stop using your why as your why not. It's just a dirty ass excuse. It's freaking dirty. You might as well say you're lazy. Because using your kids and your why as a why not is bullshit. Excuse my language, but I'm so sick of you powerful, strong moms using that as a reason why you're not working. I've heard it five times this week, five times. Guess what? Guess what, your kids deserve this. It does not mean that you need to neglect them. That does not mean that you do not need to go to the park with them, but it may mean you've gotta stop watching television just for a while, just for a while. It may mean that you put them to bed and you stay up an extra 30 minutes or an hour to work your business. Maybe it means you get up before them and you put in the time because you're already making sacrifices. So be intentional with the sacrifices that you're making to do something for your future. Can I get a freaking amen in the comments? Do not use your why as a why not. Stop. Stop. When you get ready to say, I'm so busy with my work. Well, guess what? Why you're doing this side business is to get out of work. So don't say, I can't because I've got to work. You're doing the business because you don't want to go to work for someone else, right? Don't say, I can't do this business because I need to spend quality time with my children. Because you're doing this for your children. You still spend that quality time with them and you find other areas or other things that you can give up to work the business. This, this opportunity has changed. Network marketing has changed my life. It has changed so many members of my team. There's over 40,000 of us. It's changed so many people's lives because we, we were intentional with what we were sacrificing. We weren't sacrificing the relationships with our children. We weren't sacrificing the relationships with our spouses or our friends or our family because that's why we're doing this business. 
That's why we're doing it. But we gave up television. We gave up scrolling through Facebook, zoning out, being in the scroll hole. We gave up some sleep. I would work this business driving at a 25 minute commute. I get a stoplight, guess what? I was sending a couple messages. While I was driving, I was on the phone. Because I knew that this was a vehicle to allow me to take my daughter to school every day, to pick my daughter up from school, to start a retirement fund that I didn't have, to be able to bring my husband home from work, to be able to travel the world, to be able to afford my daughter's wedding in the future, to be able to afford to send her to college in the future. That's why I'm doing this business. And I'll be damned if I say I can't do it because I have to work. I can't do it because I, I need to spend more time with my child. No. You give up something else. You don't give up the time with your child. You give up the bullshit scrolling through Facebook. You give up watching the television. And not forever, you guys. It's not forever. But use network marketing as a vehicle to chase after your future dreams. To chase after what you thought was impossible. That's all I got for you. See you guys later. Peace.